So I'm sitting outside, it's a lovely evening. I've got my best boys. There's my best boy number one, Breck. He's a good boy. And there's my best boy number two, Chamonix. He's a good boy. Um, they are, well, Chamonix is a Polish Tatra, Polish Tatra sheepdog, and Breck here is a Colorado mountain dog. And they look after my farm for me, and they're so good at it. A hawk just flew by. And Breck knows that hawks are a threat to some of the animals we got here. And so he barked at it. And it just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> they do something like that. And they're like, yeah, get that bird off my farm. Um, what am I talking about tonight? So somebody, talking about the farm. Somebody, I can't remember who, sorry, wrote a comment and said, do people worry about me? Because I live on a farm and I, I work on a farm. And, you know, that's physical activity. And I feel like you're not getting the point of full recovery. You're not understanding how full a full recovery you can make. Uh, like my husband doesn't worry about me working on the farm any more than any other farmer's husband or wife worries about them working on the farm because I don't have an eating disorder anymore. That's how full a full recovery you can make. It's not like it's always in the background and people are always kind of worrying about you and thinking that you might fall into body weight suppression behaviors again because you don't when you're fully recovered you don't have an eating disorder anymore your brain is not motivating you to engage in body weight suppression behaviors anymore and so therefore it's not like it's a temptation it's not like i'm like oh i could go and lift more bales of hay than i need to like it's just not there <laughs> um and that's the wonderful thing about getting fully recovered and that is what I wanted to say. All right, bye. I can, I'm saying bye because I can t see Shami's tail wagging. And that means that my husband is on his way back with my glass of wine. <laughs>